So, um, so tell me about Sam Altman uh, and the idea of sincerity, because man, he does not seem sincere to me. But I, like I said, I don't know the man. Um, I'll, I'll share like I'll share the raw data. Um, uh, l- let's say much of the raw data that we have. There's some stuff we can't necessarily share, but um, and, and then maybe you know you can put put the threads together as you like. So. Uh, in person, certainly a very intense guy with a a very intense stare. Um, you know, you you don't That's often true. find people with that kind of energy. Um, he is incredibly competent. I think that has to be said. Um, he cares deeply about something. That's my sense of him. He cares deeply about something. Uh, we now get to sit back and wonder what that something is. It seems very legitimate. There's a lot of very interesting data, I think is the right way to say this. Uh, that points in the direction of the default outcome of building a super intelligent system is quite plausibly loss of control over that system, especially using current techniques. OpenAI institutionally believes this. Anthropic institutionally believes this. Google DeepMind institutionally uh, may believe this. I'm less clear on them. They certainly have people who do. So when you look at these, these are the world's top three labs, and they're all thinking this, I think we'd be pretty foolish not to take that possibility very seriously. So security situation at the frontier labs. You look at, anyway, the world's top AI labs, it's garbage. Um, I don't think yeah. any serious person who claim, like a, a no serious person would claim or should claim that these labs are able to withstand sustained nation state level exfiltration campaigns of their models. That claim based on what we have seen firsthand and what we have heard reported from whistleblowers at these labs is ludicrous. That has no basis in fact. We have seen the building. We've been to to you know these various buildings and 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 seen the, the way that information is handled, the way laptops are taken down to the nearest Starbucks to be worked on, the way experiments are run haphazardly on laptops, the way guests are kind of drawn into the buildings. Off. There's so many layers of security that are missing. So much basic security intuition that mm-hmm. frankly comes from Silicon Valley hubris. Um, like we know it because we have it right. Like we, we always thought like, oh, we know way more about technology than the government. Um, it's understandable because Silicon Valley is so good at tech compared to the government. But when it comes to security, when it comes to nation state level cyber attacks, espionage, at a certain point, you got to just admit you don't know what you're doing. The idea that the United States kind of broadly constituted is ahead of, you know, China is not really true because of that security leakage. Certainly, the United States government is not ahead of the Chinese, is actually almost definitionally behind the Chinese government because of the security situation. And so the idea, certainly the argument that says we can't slow down because that would allow China to catch up is just, you know, is flatly not true. It's it's basically, it's a fantasy as long as this security deficiency uh, remains. The game board looks something like this. Uh, the um, foreign actors, let's call them, whether it's China, Russia, or, or others that would want to do this, um, have the incentives and the capacity, if they really wanted to, to exfiltrate frontier models. Um, the NSA, the CIA, etc., cetera, U.S. government writ large, does not constitutionally spy on U.S. labs. They can't do it. And so effectively what you end up with is a situation where, say, the CCP actually has not just like they're catching up to us and it's close. No, no, no. They have potentially access to better AI capabilities than the US government because of this leaky security situation. In that setting, the appropriate response is not objectively to say, oh, we need to accelerate domestic AI capabilities as fast as possible because otherwise China's going to catch up. It's to say, no, we need to stop bleeding out of this leaky bucket secure our infrastructure, and only then does further scaling and acceleration make sense. 